I'm Ruth Klosmeyer. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Research at Baylor University. I have been at Baylor since 2000. I am a senior lecturer in the chemistry department, and I teach organic chemistry, general chemistry, and forensic chemistry as well. But today I want to talk to you about a new major, a relatively new major that we put together in 2017, and it's called the Science Research Fellow. So if you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen with you. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Not a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Okay. Here we are. So the Science Research Fellows is a major. So when our students graduate, they would graduate with a bachelor's in science in Science Research Fellows. It's a relatively new program, like I mentioned. We got our first class in the fall of 2017, and right now we have three classes. We have not graduated anybody. This, uh, the spring of 2021, we will graduate our first class of science research fellows. But we only take between 10 and 12 students every year, so we're very selective in our process. This is our class for this year. This is the entering class of 2019. And if you count, there's 12 students there. And I think 12 is a, a perfect size for this program so that I can actually have more one-on-one -on -one time with all the students. So now you're asking yourself, what is a Science Research Fellows major? Well, in, uh, so around 2016, 2015 and 2016, all the science departments got together and helped us create an interdisciplinary major that prepares students for successful research careers uh, in all the STEM fields. So we have biology, chemistry, biochemistry, uh, environmental science, psychology, neuroscience, and this year we're actually adding bioinformatics and hopefully we will, actually, we will add more in the future as well. But our students are expected to join a research lab their sophomore year and they are to stay in that lab until they graduate. So they will be working in a lab for at least three years. What we're looking uh, for in a science research fellow? Well, we want students, again, like we mentioned, interested in a career in research. So we're looking for students that want to proceed to a PhD or an MD-PhD program after they're done with Baylor University. Our admission requirements, we want the best students. So you have to, of course, be accepted to Baylor University. And you have to have a good score in your ACT and your SAT. Uh, around 1450, I'm willing to go a little bit below uh, 1450 for some students, and 32 for the ACT. And we also look at the ranking. Uh, so we're looking for students that rank in the top 5% of their high school class and that have a minimum of 3.7 in their all G overall GPA in a scale of 4.0. In terms of the degree requirements, we have taken some classes out, but we actually have left some classes in that are Baylor classes, like for example, Religion is very important to us. So we left religion 1310 and religion 1350 and the two semesters of chapel. We actually also uh, wanted to keep the political science 2302. We think that those classes will actually make a more rounded student. We took some of the Englishes out. I will be telling you in a little bit which Englishes we took out. But we left, of course, scientific writing, English 3300. And our students are going to complete 21 hours of upper division science credit. That means 3,000 and 4,000 level science classes. So 21 hours in any of the classes that they want. 16 hours in science research fellows credit. That includes the class that they take their freshman year, SRF 1306 and 1307, and a class that they will take their senior year, SRF 4102, and 4103. Now, not required for the science fellows is a second language. So Baylor usually requires a second language. We took that one out so that we could 
allow the student to spend more time in the lab. That doesn't mean that we are against second languages. We allow our students to take second if they want. We also took two literature classes out, British uh, and American and world literature are not required for the science fellows. But again, if they want to take literature, we're more than happy to allow them to do it. What we do have is that we encourage our students to take uh, research-based biology. That is a, a freshman class in biology in which they do the same research project for the whole semester or for the whole year of biology, depending on when they join the biology class. And I always strongly encourage all my fellows to take as many statistics classes as they can because data science is a is a, a new field that's coming into more and more importance so i want my students to be prepared for the future i get a lot of questions and one of the questions that i get from eager students is can i have a secondary major the answer to that question is yes and no it depends on the secondary major that you're looking at uh, it will be a little more difficult to actually have a biochemistry and a biology double major. Uh, not impossible, but a little more difficult because those two majors can only share one class. But it will be a whole lot easier if you wanted to have a, a neuroscience concentration and a philosophy major. So you can have those two because they, they don't have any classes in common. What about minors. Well, you can have as many minors as you want. Um, we have fellows minoring in philosophy. We have two, two or three fellows majoring in, uh, minoring in mathematics. We have fellows in forensics and anthropology. And we have one fellow actually minoring in rock climbing and he loves it. These are some pictures that I love. This is my entering class of 2018. And that was during our white coat ceremony. So all our students get their lab coat with Embroider Science Research Fellows uh, on, the, on the front. This is Duncan Krusty. He's in the class of 2019. Uh, and he gave us a nice quote that knowing the other research fellows are always there for me and actively helping me grow in the best researcher possible has made the program the best decision I've made for my college experience. This is to show you that our students are actually very happy to be in our program. Now, what does the freshman year look for one of our students? Well, the freshman year, our students are not to join a lab, so they will take a class, Science Research Fellows 1306 and 1307 is a year-long class in which we bring professors to actually talk to them about their research. That's how the, the students are going to see all the different possibilities of research that we have at Baylor. And we have a lot of possibilities. In the second semester, they will start deciding which lab they want to join. Now, we also cover a lot of different topics. One of our most important topics is research ethics. Uh, we talk about anti-vaccine movements, contagious diseases, famous scientists. We watch movies uh, and we do have journal clubs. So we actually teach them how to read a, a journal article and we keep going during the whole year uh, in all the different topics. We don't actually just focus on one. We go through all the different uh, STEM fields. The second and third year uh, science fellows are still checking in with me, but now they're actually in lab doing research. So we give them credit for research, SRS3V90 or SRF3F4V90. The V stands for variable, so they can take it for as many hours as they are willing to work in the lab. They take classes in their concentration because remember, I'm preparing them to go to graduate school. So I want them to, to be able to enter the top programs at other universities. So they take classes in their concentration. And they actually help me a lot mentoring the younger students. So we have big and littles. I don't know if you know what that is, but each older student has a younger student that they have to keep in contact with and 
and take them to different activities. Uh, my teaching assistants comes from the older classes and they are the ones that actually carry out the journal clubs. I teach, I teach them to do panels and they come to present their research also to the younger fellows. I, I actually just keep on top of them uh, because that's the, the personal touch that I put. I actually have them apply to at least, at the very least, two summer research internships every year. Uh, and I write the letters of recommendation, so I will know whether they applied or not. But that is something that it's required for all my research fellows to do. Whether they think they can get it or not, that doesn't matter. They need to apply to get the experience of what to apply. My older ones, so the, the juniors, at the very beginning of their junior year, they start looking at national fellowships such as a Fulbright and the Goldwater, and they're strongly encouraged to apply, not only to those, but to as many as they can. And another important thing, if you have research and you have results, you have to share the results so they have to present at uh, the many poster sessions uh, available in the fall and the spring at Baylor University. And we also encourage them to go to conferences, national conferences or regional conferences to present their research as well. This is Shrikar. Um, he's a lovely person and he is very proud to actually be in the science fellows. He tells the science research fellows is one of the few majors that allows me to simultaneously explore intricate scientific phenomena and other miscellaneous academic interest on a daily basis throughout my undergraduate career, equipping me with tools and relationships that will last a lifetime. Now, I am the director of the Science Research Fellows, but I'm also the director of the Office of Undergraduate Research. And I like to actually put those two together. So my research fellows are part, an important part of the Office of Undergraduate Research. And they are my representatives uh, in front of all the, the students, the undergraduate students that would like to do research at Baylor University or in other programs. I work closely with them, so I train them on how to do workshops, uh, and they do a lot of uh, uh, seminars for me, talking to students about how to apply to summer programs, what to do if you want to join a lab, so they work really very closely with me. And this year, they organized a virtual science symposium, and we're hoping that we can grow it more and more every year from now on. Now, to apply, fill out the application through Baylor Admissions. Uh, so go to your Go Baylor account and fill out my application. You'll have to answer some essay questions. Uh, not too long of an answer, but we actually just look at your SAT and ACTs and we look at those answers to actually feel uh, your interest in research. We have two deadlines. Our first deadline is December 15. So after December 15, we'll actually look at all those applicants and uh, by the end of January, we'll have interviewed them, the semifinalist, and we'll have made a decision. Our second deadline is March 15. And by the mid-April, we will have interviewed the semifinalist and we will have an answer for everybody uh, a little bit after mid-April, mid it, yes. Uh, like I said, we do have a, a short web interview for our students, for our semifinalists. So we have been doing that right now through Zoom. And all communications with our students, with our applicants, are going to be through email. So make sure that you actually check your email frequently. This is Bennett. Uh, Bennett is another of our students in the younger class. It seems that I put all guys, but they were the only ones that actually just gave me the quotes. They have been helping me interviewing uh, the applicants, so they are the ones that sent me the quotes. I'm sorry, but um, uh, Bennett is a fantastic student. He's doing research in environmental in an environmental lab. It's a uh, it works a lot with toxicology. Now, another thing that we don't publicize is as much is that our science fellows, you can live anywhere you want on campus in any of our fantastic 
living and learning centers, but there is a science and health living and learning center. So it's called Earl Hall, the Science and Health LLC. And if you're a science fellow, we can actually get you to live at Earl Hall. However, you must apply to Earl Hall and put Earl Hall as the top one priority for us to be able to actually place you at Earl Hall. If you don't apply, we cannot place you at Earl Hall. And here are some examples of the things that we do because we have kept the groups very, very small. The first year, 10 students, second year, 10 more students, the third year, 12 students. We have a little close-knit family. So we go climbing. If you notice in the top left, the student that is in blue is Vasu, and he's the one that has a minor in rock climbing. Uh, Bennett and Shrekar are like twins, so sometimes they, they dress the same. Uh, we do a lot of eating. So the, when they're dressed like bananas, that would be the tailgate that we have with Earl Hall students. Uh, we are not supposed to drink uh, or eat in the classrooms, but this day Peyton was the birthday, oh no, I'm sorry, the bottom right, it was Peyton's birthday, so we got cookies for her and we were all eating cookies, Shh, don't tell anybody. And the middle picture, is because after class, Baylor has a traditional Dr. Pepper hour in the student center. So after we finish class on Tuesdays, all my students go to get a Dr. Pepper float. The one on the bottom left, they are at the Mayborn Museum, which is a fantastic museum that Baylor has. Uh, and they were doing homework for biology that day. So thank you so much for being here and for listening to me. I hope you apply to the Science Research Fellows. If you have any more questions, send me an email at science underscore fellows at baylor.edu. You can also check our Instagram, Science Research Fellows, or you or mostly your parents can actually look at my Facebook account, Science Research Fellows. Again, thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you at Baylor next time. Well, I am going to actually stop sharing. And I'm going to stop it because you